Well, welcome to another double pour. That's right, a double pour. Tonight, two pours for the price of one. We've got these fine whiskeys and bourbons set up here, and we're going to choose which one goes first. Heads. So we're going to try the uh, Whiskey Society Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey finished in Japanese Mizunara Oak Shachi Barrels. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Welcome to the show. Well, I don't know if you could see that topper, but it is, um, <clears throat> I guess, a samurai or a shogun, Japanese uh, traditional character. And I didn't buy it for the topper, although I thought the topper was cool. And they've got different toppers for their different finishes. Um, but this is, <clears throat> basically says it's the Bardstown Edition, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey finished in Japanese Mizunara Oak Shashi, S-H-O-C-U-C-H-U Barrels. I have no idea if I'm pronouncing that right. This is their classic collection, and I mispronounced it early. It's not the Whiskey Society, it's the World Whiskey Society. For this limited edition of 1,500 bottles, we are thrilled to bring you a world's first American bourbon whiskey finished in Japanese Misunara Oak. The mash bill it says here is 72% corn, 18% rye, 10% barley. That's, that sounds like a pretty good combination. Bottled by Independent Distilling Company, Decatur, Georgia. You know, I knew that World Whiskey Society was local, the bottling was, but I didn't know they were that close. Distilled in Kentucky. And it's, uh, the artwork on their bottles is just amazing. And then of course the toppers uh, make it kind of unique. Uh, if you go to their website, was it worldwhiskey.com? Uh, where you can order, it says free shipping on orders over $150, but obviously your state has to qualify for that. I know not all states do. And I was looking at it, and I'm going like, <clears throat> Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey Finished in Mizunara Barrel. And I double-checked the, uh, the label, everything, tells me that this is that bourbon. You've got it listed for $124. It's like, oh my God, did I get a deal or what? I paid $69.99 for this. Uh, yeah, actually close to uh, uh, my hometown, close to Canton, in uh, North Georgia area. It wasn't that far away. And it's bottle 841 of 1,500 bottles. I don't know if I just got a great deal or I'm wrong about this. I'm hoping it's a great deal. Well, I've heard good things about the World Whiskey Society. I don't know much about this particular finish, uh, but I have seen this bottle in several places. I know it is gotten out. I don't know how many different versions of this. I know I've seen one that says six years on it, and other places indicate to me that this is the six year. I don't know that to be true, but I know I have seen a label difference with one that does have a six right in the middle there, this one does not. So other than that, you know what I know about this World Whiskey Society Mizunara Oak Barrel. I'm not gonna try to mispronounce the Japanese uh, name of that. So this is what's first. Uh, we'll put a chapter label in there for when we do uh, start the Old Pepper uh, single barrel so if you don't care about this one and want to jump to the old pepper you'll you can get you can find that chapter in there and but right now first up uh we're going to go write that so this show will be a bit lip <laughs> a bit lip 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 i haven't been drinking yet this show will be a little longer than normal because we're doing two it is a double pour night uh the proof on this is let me find it here I don't think it's real high. And I can't, oh, here it is. You can hardly see it. No, it's uh, 104 proof. 
So that's definitely in my wheelhouse. I love 100, 110, 115 sometimes, but 104, definitely my jam. Well, let's see what it smells like. I have no idea what this Japanese oak smells like at all. Well, it, it's certainly different than other finishes. It's not real pronounced like uh, an Amburana would be or some of the other exotic finishes that I've tried lately. It's really not a strong aroma at all. I get a traditional bourbon and I get a finish I can't recognize. You know, the Armagnac finish that we had the other night with the Laws, uh, I could pick that up kind of like an Amburana. I knew there was a strong presence of something with a sweet tone to it. I'm not getting any sweet tones on this one. It's more oaky and bourbon-esque. I'm not really not picking up that uh, Mizunara. Mm -mm. Okay, well, next step is to taste it, right? Cheers. That is different. It's not very sweet. It's a little savory. The baking spices aren't heavy. Uh, they're moderate. Light pepper, I would say almost a white pepper on the tip of the tongue. Oak. You do get some traditional bourbon flavors there. Brown sugar, molasses, vanilla. So far, I'm not really picking up the finish that would make it different, although I did pick up a little something in the aroma, so let's take another taste. Now in the second sip, I no longer really pick up the proof. I do have a slight Kentucky hub, very, very light. But on the second now, I am getting some spice that's coming through that's not a baking spice. It's not a molasses brown sugar, it's not a maple, any of that. It's got to be the wood. And it's uh, a little bit sweet, it's a little savory. It's toned down quite a bit from an Amberana or even a Cognac or Amarac or any of those finishes in those barrels. Let's take one more sip and we're going to go to final thoughts. World Whiskey Society, straight bourbon whiskey finished in Japanese Mizunara oak barrels. With every sip, I taste the barrel, of the, their oak, the Japanese oak, a little more. I'm thinking the more I drink this, the more I can pick that out. And with every sip, I like it better than the previous. It's growing on me. Um, it is quite, and no one's around to correct me, I'll say it, smooth. It's quite smooth. It doesn't have any bite, no ethanol in the back of the throat. It seems to have a good balance of flavor and proof. Uh, I always, well I say always, I might like it to be just a tad sweeter and a tad more of that oak finish. Maybe it needs to be finished in it maybe a little longer, or just maybe it needs to sit a while longer. I'm hoping for the latter. Okay, um, interesting. Um, value for the money. Well, if, if it's $124 and that's what it's gonna cost you to buy it, and I did see one the other day in a special book and it was like a gigantic book that this sat inside and there was some kind of soft cover book inside the book. Kind of a leather book, big leather book that this sits inside. They wanted $199 for it. Now I get that, it's the collector's edition with the book and all that and maybe there's some kind of recipes or histories about uh, this whiskey or uh, the finishing processes. I, I don't know what was in the book. I was kind of like, wow, I hope 
this isn't that expensive. And when I found it for $69, I'm going like, buy it quick. So I don't know if it's normally $69 or it's $124 or somewhere in between. If it's $124, I would say that's not a good value for the money. No, absolutely not. Don't pay $124 for it. I'm sorry, World Whiskey Society. It's good, but not $124 good. $69 all day long, every day. At $69, if you can find it, an absolute fantastic deal. Which brings us to our recommendation system. And hope there's some, some room over here somewhere for it. One through five. One being, stop the video and go get it right now. Uh, two being, it should be your next purchase. And that's where I'm going to stop. I'm not even going to list the other ones because I think this is a solid two. It should be your next purchase. If you can get it near the price I did, $69. I would even pay $79 for it. I think it's got that much potential. With every taste, it got better and better. And I think as it opens up, it might even be better than that. When we come right back, we're going to get set up. We're hoping that this is also another fine product from James E. Pepper. We'll be right back. Okay, we're back for part two of our double pour series tonight. Uh, this is the Old Pepper Distillery. Uh, it is a straight bourbon whiskey. It is a barrel proof single barrel. That's what interests me. But it's only 53.2%, which do the math is what? 106.4? Again, definitely in my wheelhouse. And I know that some of the earlier bourbons from James E. Pepper, you know, they only got reestablished in like 2017, 2016, something like that. Uh, and I, if, you, if you're curious about more of the story, go back to our video on the James E. Pepper decanter. This guy right here, you can see that. And uh, we loved that. Uh, and it was, uh, it was like under $60. And it's the barrel proof. It's 52.8%, very close to this. And it is their distillation. So when we saw this, now that's not a single barrel, but it is a barrel proof. So when I saw this, I know I believe this is a different mash bill from that one. I said, well, I like the other one so much. This was $55.99. It was a store pick. And again, if you want to know where I got it, ask me in the comments. Distilled and bottled at the historic Pepper Distillery in Lexington, Kentucky. Now, I know some of the uh, uh, whiskeys like their 1776 uh, comes from two different places, one from Indiana and one from Kentucky. We can guess what ones those are, and they are the lower cost bourbons by Jamie's, James E. Pepper. I don't know if they just, they've been around long enough that, uh, or haven't, should I say, they don't have distillation for those yet, or just that's the way they're going to be from now on. But this is their distillation, their bottling, their product. I won't read you the whole thing, but uh, the distillery operated until 1967 with both it and the brand were abandoned for over 50 years. After a decade of historic historical research and renovation, the brand was relaunched and the distillery was rebuilt filling its first barrel in 2017. So that kind of gives you an idea. Um, the single barrel selected from this bottling was made with limestone filtering spring water. Well, we love limestone sp spring water, don't we, when we want to add a little bit to our bourbons? Um, Carefully chosen from our finest stocks and bottled straight from the barrel, uncut and unfiltered for exceptional flavor. Well, that sounds a lot like the other one. Well, we'll do a comparison one night. Maybe we'll put them in a blind of this one against the decanter series. I love the decanter series and not just for the bottle. I think the bottle design from 1945 is fabulous. But it's, uh, it's interesting that there's no plastic. It was just paper. There's a few bottling companies to do that. See what kind of pop we get nice pop 
So uh, we're not gonna let this sit long because I don't want to take another break. I'm just gonna get right into it. It's not that heavy of a uh, proof. Get a little cheating here. Well, that, that does smell interesting. So if you go to jamesepepper.com, uh, the closest thing you'll find to this bottle is the bottled in bond. They don't really tell you about the barrel proof version, but we're gonna try to get some ideas from that. Uh, under the technical, they talk about a unique blend of mash bills consisting of corn, rye, malted barley, and malted rye. Does that make it a four grain? I think, no, I think that's still three grains. Aged in, in new and toasted charred barrels from Kentucky Oak. Uh, water source from the historic distillery well. Uh, aged a minimum of four years, just like the, the bottle uh, and bond would be, or this one is four years. Tasting notes, very drinkable. Not helpful, James E. Pepper. Rich notes of caramel, vanilla, spices, and malt. Here we go. Old Pepper line extensions, limited releases, single barrels bottled at barrel proof. Finest Kentucky Oak, secondary finish in a new toasted barrel bottled at barrel proof. Note some limited releases in single barrels have in the past been bottlings of whiskeys distilled at other distilleries. Details will be on the label. This is not the case. That was past this being present. This is their distillation. So let's see what the aroma's like. This does remind me of the uh, decanter series. I remember it's got kind of a unique aroma. I would say I do pick up a lot of sweetness, vanilla and caramel. I do pick up oak and then traditional bourbon aromas. It's very nice smelling. I, I really do get a lot of caramel and, and vanilla in it. Almost candy bar sweetness in the aroma. Wow. Cheers. Oh my. That is rich. Flavorful. I get a nice hit of baking spices on the front. Um, not very peppery, a little bit of pepper. Uh, I wouldn't say it's a white pepper, just, uh, just a small amount of pepper on the tip of the tongue. It dissipates quick. It's not uh, objectionable. Um, but again, uh, I do get uh, from the aroma, goes to the palate, at caramel, vanilla, and oak. Um, more of a uh, brown sugar than a molasses or a maple. It, uh, it's got the right amount of sweetness. Very rich, coats the palate very well. Reminds me a lot of the uh, decanter series, the Barrel Proof. And boy, it would be hard to tell them apart, I think. I'd have to put them in a blind and even then, I'm not sure if I could tell them apart. My memory of it, so this tastes a little richer than the decanter. I, I love the decanter. I've got a backup of the decanter. And every time I see it, I go like, do I need a backup of the backup? No, don't do that, Mike. You don't need a backup of the backup. Well, tell that to the uh, Eagle Rares I've got in my whiskey vault. I got four or five of them, including at least three Buffalo Trace single barrels. What can I say? It's a whiskey vault. This could be one of the best $55.99 bottles I've ever bought. I don't know how many bottles I have at $55.99, but it could be one of the best. $56? Single barrel? Store pick? What are you waiting for, people? I'm kidding. We haven't gotten to that yet, have we? Hmm. Let's take one more sip and go to final thoughts. Final thoughts. Well, Mr. Pepper, 
Dr. Pepper. You should be a doctor for coming up with this fine bourbon. I'm impressed. You know, I, I didn't know whether the decanter series was like, that's a one-off. Uh, I'm probably not going to like any of the other stuff. Stay, stay with that. I'll be happy. This is great bourbon. And it could be just this single barrel is so delicious. I don't know, but I'll tell you what. I'm going back for a backup. Oh, yeah. $55.99. I'm going to get me a backup of this from Turtle Creek before anyone else finds out about it. <laughs> so don't go there tomorrow. <laughs> You'll mess up getting me my backup. So that brings us to our recommendation system, our ranking system. One through five, one being stop the video right now and go get this bourbon. Please don't do that. I need time to go to the store and get mine, my backup. I will tell you that uh, because it's a single barrel, I won't give it a number one because single barrels do vary from very to very. And where you're at, if you get this in a single barrel, great. Tonight, I'm going to give it a solid number two. It should be your next purchase. If you can get the store, if they have a store pick, and I assume it probably will be, they'll let you have a taste, then you'll know. Please like this video, comment and share, and we hope you enjoyed a double pour. We're going to try to do those occasionally, probably on Friday nights, and then you would see them whenever, when I say whenever. We're pushing more and more of reviews farther and farther out. I've got a half year's worth of bourbon sitting on shelves that I don't want to take a half year to get to. So I'm going to be pushing them out, pushing them out, pushing them out. And sometimes they, you might see them next week, the week after. Sometimes it might be several weeks before you see them just because we're pushing so many out. I don't have a solution for that other than we do want to space videos out. We try to do three videos each week right now. And that's really all we can do or push out. But if you want to see them sooner, then we do have a solution. And it's a very inexpensive solution for as little as $2.99. You can become a member. And as soon as we post these, even if it's three weeks out, a month out, you can just see them right away. And we do have a few members that take advantage of it. I'll get comments on something just two hours after I posted it that's not going to be public for two weeks. Again, we hope you will like this video, comment and share, and please hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber. That way you get alerted, at least in your feed. You can also hit the notification button. So every time we post, you get a little bell that goes off somewhere. Somewhere in YouTube land, a bell goes off. Does that mean I got my wings? Probably not. But tonight, I'm happy with these wings. Old Pepper Distillery, single barrel, barrel proof. A definite buy. So, as always, never drink and drive. Please drink responsibly, and we'll see you next time.